What about the the fat content? Yeah. If someone's trying to navigate this, so within the yogurt section of the grocery mm-hmm. store mm-hmm. or, or mm-hmm. Um, even milk, there's high fat versions mm-hmm. and low fat versions. Mm-hmm. I think this is a really interesting thing to explore. Um, there's a lot of research on w- what are the types of saturated fats that are in dairy. Are they behaving differently to saturated fats, say, in, in meat? What would be important for people to understand here? Yeah. Well, uh, for yogurt, uh, it, it looks like that, uh, and other dairy foods, it looks like the, it doesn't make a great deal of difference whether it's high fat or low fat uh, for most of the outcomes we've looked at. Uh, but the worst, of course, is if it's low fat and then you put back a lot of sugar in its place. That's not going to be the healthiest choice. And, of course, if you look at the grocery store shelves, a lot of these low fat dairy products are very high, uh, high in added sugar. But if we look just at dairy fat itself, it's definitely not an optimal fat. And I know there's been ideas that it's oh, it's got some medium chain C15 yes, pops yes. up a lot. <laughs> that comes up. It turns out that's very non It's not specific to dairy. Doesn't and your body make that as well? Your body can make a little bit, uh, but most. But it can also come from beef, as well, and it can come from uh, metabolized from other forms of uh, other fatty acids as well. So, unfortunately, it's not a very good indi- right. indicator. I think of, I read one study where vegans had the highest C fifteen levels. Really, which I, I hadn't thought seen was that. Super interesting. Yeah, you can get it from non-dairy, definitely from non-dairy sources. But we did a paper specifically looking at dairy fat compared to other types of fat. And uh, clearly uh, for total cardiovascular disease, total mortality, uh, the plant oils were better than dairy fat. Uh, Fat from red meat. Uh, looked a little worse than dairy fat, but that may be still the things that were other things in red meat that are contributing to that. And there was one important study done by colleagues at Laval University in Canada, actually funded by the dairy industry, to look at the question of uh, was uh, dairy fat from milk uh, not, or maybe said the other way around, is dairy fat in cheese better than dairy fat from milk? And there's been a lot of talk about that over the years. And they did a really well-designed study. As it turned out, there was a slightly less adverse effect on LDL cholesterol from dairy fat and cheese than from milk. But to their credit, they also had uh, two other arms to the study. One was a high mono plant oil, and the other was a high polyunsaturated plant oil. And both of those had dramatically lower LDL cholesterol compared to either form of dairy fat. Mm-hmm. And and that's really exactly compared what... Compared to what? Co- the, yeah. Yeah, compared, compared to what, to what? yes. Right. So, so, so if you're swapping out red meat for dairy, if that kind of made sense in a dietary swap, then that could be an improvement. Slight, but, yeah. Slight small. improvement, but then... St- going from dairy to some sort of plant fat would be an improvement again. Right, yeah. Or if you're thinking of these just as added fats, uh, also very important because we do add quite a bit, maybe about 20% of our calories are added fats. That cheese, I mean, excuse me, that butter is not going to be healthy compared to uh, plant oils like olive oil or canola oil or, or soybean oil. Mm-hmm.